donate to save her. So open up. Can you open up exercise O3 displacement mapping or not? Just one. 0 3 displacement mapping. Do you see down here this one is a plane? Okay. Here's how it works. Displacement mapping gives a geometry, a real life 3D, 3D movement or 3D displacement to things when you have a mapping. Alright? If you look at this itself, this one is a plane. Okay, I explained. This is a plane. Except it has many different segments. Do you see this here or not? Normally, when you have plane, you only have four segments or so and all. Like that. But we give this 100 segments here. Very, very high resolution model. All right. When we do this, we are going to add this. We are going to add another modifier called display here. Look for this modifier called displays. And then we expand on it. And inside here, there is this portion here under parameters called bitmap. When you click on that, you load the bitmap here. Let's look for the very basic one. Let's look for, let's say, tile. Okay. okay. Now, with this, when you increase the strength of the material, like 1,000, for example, you will find that the object now looks moving. If I increase the object very, very much, the objects look like it's flying up this way. Okay, so we can change the object from a flat plane all the way. Think of it as bump mapping, except it is real 3D. Okay, this one can move on. I can do the same for displays on this sphere. As long as the resolution of this model is very high, I will be able to do exactly the same thing. Yeah? So I'm going to click on bitmap and I'm going to load the same tile material again here. Tile material, okay? And with this, I'll put in, let's say, one, I'll put in 1,000, or in this case, 10,000. All right, I can change this. If I were to change the mapping from planar to spherical, then I can have this exploding ball situation happening like that. Okay, this could serve as a very nice uh, special feature you want to get. So you can explode like in a heartbeat, okay, like that. Huh? So you play with this one here. This function is very useful 